Hi everyone, I'm going to give you a quick tour of Pico. Uh, Pico is an app we built recently that lets you build apps using GPT-4. Um, it's really awesome, you can build a lot of cool stuff with it. There's uh, two kinds of builders now, Pico and Meta GPT Builder. So let me go through Pico Builder first. So Pico can build a lot of different kinds of apps. Uh, it can't build mobile apps though, and it can't build anything that uses a backend or a database. It can build single page HTML apps, but that still gives you a huge amount of flexibility. So let's start with um, a to-do list app that includes an inspiration code at the top that changes at each time I load the page. And we just type this in and then we hit create and the app building starts. So GPT-4 takes a while, so I'm gonna cut to later when the app is ready, but you can see the app as it's being built live. You can see a preview here. Um, and here you go, you see something here. Um, anyway, we'll cut and I'll see you on the other side. So it's a really simple app. Seems like you can add some to-dos and then you can take them off. Um, you'll notice that immediately there is a live URL so you can easily share it with people. Uh, and here we have opened up the live URL and you see that every time I refresh, you get a different inspiration quote at the top. Um, I wanna also, you know, maybe add some more space to the top and uh, make the background dark. So let's say, and make the theme uh, dark, make the text white, and add some space up top. Um, so that's really powerful that you can iterate on apps. Um, and the best apps are often made after you know four, five, six different iterations. And the key is to do things really slowly uh, and gradually build it up. Um, so I'm going to cut again, and then we'll see what happens when the app is ready. So it looks like it's ready now. Um, and it's definitely added a dark theme, which is pretty neat. So, um, go to the bus stop or something. Okay, so it looks pretty neat. It didn't really add too much space on top. So sometimes you have to reprompt it. Another kind of app that you can build with Pico is uh, a meta GPT app. And what that basically means is, is an app that you build with Pico that can also call the chat GPT, GPT 3.5 endpoints. Uh, so that gives you a lot of power because you can you know build a children's story generator because um, chat GPT is really good at writing children's stories. So in this case, I'm gonna show you how to build uh, an app that's something like this. So this, this was an app that was pretty popular a couple months ago. And the basic idea is that, you know, you say something really mean to your colleagues, like that's so stupid, what it will do is it'll help rewrite that um, into something that sounds more professional and even keeled. So in this case, it says, I'm struggling to see the reasoning behind your decision. Could you please provide some more information rather than saying that's so stupid. Uh, cool, neat little app that we can build uh, very easily using MetaGPT. So first, we wanna say, build me a ChatGPT powered app that um, translates something mean I, I would say to my coworkers into something positive and professional. So once we do that, we have to flush out a little bit more. Um, so in this case, you know, what information do we need from the users? We want an input text. Um, and I think that's pretty much it because there is only one um, text box here. And we can also ask the AI to come up with a prompt. It's best to also um, update the prompt. Take this input text and revise it into a more positive and professional tone. And we can also choose how we want to display the output. We can have different kinds of aesthetics, uh, but these are optional and you really don't need to fill them out. So now we hit create and it's gonna create this GPT powered app. All right, looks like it's done. Um, let's take a look at the app. There's definitely things we can improve here, but like for example, this doesn't look very readable at all, but let's say we say that's so stupid. Why would you do that? And it says, 
We should instead say, could you please help me understand the reasoning behind your decision? I'm interested in learning more about your perspective. So there you go. It's uh, really easy to create something, um, a simple generator app using ChatGPT, using Pico and MetaGPT.